I think Redmond's biggest challenges in a lot of ways are also some of their best opportunities. The growth that we're seeing coming into town where we are growing at seven people plus a day is going to create some challenges for our infrastructure, but that also does create a tremendous opportunity for investment in the community, for, for growth, for increases in jobs, in community development, in business development. Um, how we manage that infrastructure in planning and development, that is gonna be a huge challenge going forward, but I do think that we've got a good solid city staff that is up for that challenge. And I think with the right kind of leadership on council and guidance, I think we can do some amazing things. I think one of the other issues that we face obviously is going to be the homeless and houseless issue. It has been here forever and it is not going to go away, but what we do have to do is to work with our local community partners through nonprofits, governmental entities, through the Tri-County Commission that was established to find safe places where these folks can be relocated to provide the services that they need. And that we can also work with our law enforcement to make sure that they're not having a negative impact on businesses and the community. The last issue that I would say we really need to address is going to be affordable housing. And all of these issues kind of tie into each other because if we can bring the average cost of rent down, we can move a good portion of those folks that are working but can't afford to live in any place but their car. We can move them into apartments. We can help people start to move up. When it comes to affordable housing, we really do need an all options on the table approach. We're gonna need multifamily units. We're gonna need apartments. We're gonna need single family dwellings. We are going to need to find options that are gonna be affordable for working class folks, for the working poor, for families that are starting out, for folks that are living on a fixed income. We also need to work at diversifying the types of homes that are, are available within Redmond so that more affluent folks are able to find the types of homes that they're looking for in our area. This is gonna bring additional resources to the tax base. It's also gonna bring additional amenities because the kind of folks that are wanting to buy places in Broken Top and Eagle Crest, they're wanting those activities and resources more locally sourced to them. So they will make those investments and it lifts the community up as a whole. It also does provide economic diversity, which adds resilience to us and helps hedge off impacts from future economic events. For me, if, if elected to city council, what I'm gonna focus on with regard to affordable housing is how we create an environment that's gonna spur additional development and responsible growth. The city does not build houses, but this is a, it's a supply and demand issue. We do not control the supply. What we do control is the environment in which that supply can thrive. The demand is constant. It's not likely to slow down and we do need to get ahead of that issue. One thing I would like to see us do is a little bit more smarter development so that as we continue to expand the urban growth boundary and add in new developments, we're also diversifying that commercial space and retail space and moving some of those grocery stores and coffee shops and things off of Highland and 97. This is gonna improve the quality of those neighborhoods that are being built. It also is gonna help even a small part to reduce con traffic congestion on 97 and on Highland. In terms of infrastructure, I have toured the existing water treatment facility and I've also toured the site for the new proposed water treatment facility. I feel like we've got a really good handle on what, what wastewater is going to look like and how we're going to deal with that going forward. That is gonna require responsible oversight to make sure that that project stays within budget and that we're not throwing good money after bad. When it comes to kind of infrastructure in terms of roads, we have got a lot of work to do. We do need to have some additional commercial traffic uh, corridors that are heading north-south and I know that there are some plans in the works for those. I would also like to see additional residential corridors that are built and scalable for the future. So as we continue to grow residentially to the west, we're gonna to need to add in some, some cap capacity. And as we grow, we need to make sure that that is already equipped to handle uh, mass transit. So whether that be buses or cabs, or even making Redmond more bike friendly, uh, that is gonna be a big challenge going forward. And it's something where we have seen our neighbors to the south and across the, across the hill really kind of fail to plan. 
and end up having to come back and try to reinvent the wheel afterwards. And it's a huge problem and it's something that we've got to get ahead of as we continue to grow. So I think the first 60 days really has to start before you get sworn in. And I have already kind of taken steps to, to meet with department heads and kind of learn what, what they see as the biggest challenges are, what they're looking for from a proactive council, from an engaged council, and what their biggest frustrations are. There isn't a lot of time to really kind of to, to, to do the homework. You really have to get into it right away. So we need, before, before we're sworn in, we do need to sit down, we need to, to get to know each other, talk about, okay, here's what our goals are, and we need to set our priorities, figure out what has got to come first, what has got to come second, and then we have to define what sec success is gonna look like. How do we measure as we move forward to say, yes, we're on the right track, no, we need to make an adjustment? And that's gonna require really open, honest communication and a cooperative council, and I'm really looking forward to working with uh, many of the candidates that are there, that are running, as well as the current council that will remain on board. My name is John Nielsen. I'm a candidate for Redmond City Council. I'm running for city council because for 20 years, this place has been my home. I've raised my family here. I have adult children and I have young children. And what inspires me is an old Greek phrase, that a society grows great when old men plant trees the shade of which they know they will not live to sit in. And I'm asking for your vote because I need your help to plant some trees. Thank you.